Hey everybody, Andy from Tennis Euphoria bringing you my review of the Diadem FS Nova 100. This will be the second Diadem racket that I have reviewed. I've reviewed the Elevate 2. Uh, check out the channel for my thoughts um, on that. Diadem are a um, smaller manufacturer based in the US um, who have some interesting frames. Um, this one I suppose I had muted expectations uh, for. Um, if we consider the specifications and the sort of target area for this, uh, Diadem describe it as a, a powerful yet forgiving and maneuverable frame um, the specs would very much um, make us I suppose think with a fairly dull heart okay another sort of pure drivey type of frame 100 square inches 300 grams um, you know very much the usual here with a typical balance point um, 69 stiffness so relatively stiff check out that um, beam at 23.5 um, so um, you know does this play like um, a pure drive Happily, um, I think you know it does in some respects, but in other respects, um, it's better. I'll come back to that. Um, there's a few technologies that Diadem talk about: um, a flex stabilization system, um, and they talk about a um, patented rib structure in the frame that combines some high density foam with um, uh, carbon, um, and that's placed at different areas strategically. So we've obviously seen foam um, a lot before, um, Angel rackets, some Technofiber rackets. Um, immediately thought of the Technofiber Ega 298, I must admit, when I was hitting this frame. Um, that's foam fill two, and you get loads of stability for the weight. Uh, mine was um, on spec, pretty much, 299 grams. Uh, with it strung up, I was floating around, depending on string, at sort of 310 to 315 swing weight. That's um, a little bit low. I think that this frame would be ripe for customization. There are um, other iterations to the Nova 100 line. They do an extended length version, a light version, and also an oversized version. I think this frame is the most sort of typical and the one that most people will be um, concerned with. So um, I suppose early spoiler alert, I absolutely love this frame um, and I'll try to bring that um, to life a little bit. First of all, in considering it around categories for people who are um, maybe coming through um, a custom matching service, I think this category is, is quite interesting. This is a really decent alternative to your um, tweener 300 gram, 100 square inch frames. Um, it delivers um, not quite as much power as a pure drive, uh, but it is quite a powerful frame. Um, the other sort of category, I guess, that this frame really competes with, I think quite favorably, is that sort of speed MP line. And I think that this frame is um, best kind of um, categorized as being um, actually a bit better in terms of um, energy return and power because of that slightly stiffer RA than the Speed MP. Um, but with um, similar levels of control and feel, it's got a quite a nice feel to it despite that stiffness. Um, and then you've got um, sort of better um, controllable power, I think, than uh, an all-out pure drive. So it's a um, yeah, really good alternative to those. And I have to say, you know, the more and more I hit with it, initially I had to rein in the power a little bit. Played around with strings, of course, as well. Uh, but I really started to play um, some of my best tennis for a long time with this frame. And it did mean that I, in terms of some of my personal frames that I would occasionally come back to, um, I've actually sold them on pretty happy with this frame from my own point of view as I'm sort of aging and do can do with some extra power um, that should influence though my thoughts on you know whether it's right for other people and category and, and it doesn't um, in terms of how I'd summarize this I actually think it has um, similar levels of power and control to some of those um, hybrid frames that we see that are you know decent and very popular thinking the um, Pure Aero um, 98, um, also the Eager 298. Um, I think if you've hit with those frames, um, then you get a similar sort of playing response with this frame, but you do have um, just that little bit more forgiveness compared to those two. Um, so the launch angle is relatively high. It does generate 
really good spin um, and that uh, feel uh, maybe because of some of that patented technology that they talk about um, I think's great I mean if you were to hit this off the bat you'd probably guess at a 66 um, RA um, and what I like about that is is that you can actually uh, you know get in touch with it and feel it um, going back to the frame design you can see it's very speed like 23.5 um, millimeter beam but in many respects, there's just sort of aspects of aero, uh, pure drive, and also speed um, in the design of both the um, uh, hoop and the overall frame. And, um, and it just plays like a sort of combination of all of those. It's like it's bringing together lots of those aspects into a really well-rounded, playable frame. Um, I was getting a lot of power on serve. Um, sometimes, though, when you're getting all-out power, you tend to then lose a little bit of touch and feel and for a stiff racket I felt that there was excellent touch and feel um, it's very very maneuverable so you know that was helping me on getting my shots sort of up and down and attacking um, and you know great spin generation too so you know lots of launch and spin to keep it in to play with depth so I think you know there's a natural um, adjustment when hitting with this frame certainly there was for me because of that um, initial power and spin but once you're dialed in uh, you get some really really decent um, added playability uh, or certainly I did next to some of the frames that I've been playing with recently so um, yeah I mean I, I'm a massive fan of this frame it will definitely make it into you know categories that we uh, use at Tennis Euphoria for helping people custom match um, and I, I will hold on to these it's prompted me to you know as I say sell on some of um, my others that I was keeping for playing and hitting and when I do get to play the occasional match and I would happily go to this frame to play with um, I've got a noticeable benefit in terms of strings I was finding that um, a hybrid setup was working uh, particularly well um, I was actually liking to put a, a relatively durable um, and spin orientated um, string in the mains because it is a little bit heavy on strings so I ended up with um, Luxlon Savage um, in the mains at about 53 pounds and then I was just um, sort of softening that down and looking for a bit of control in the crosses so I was finding that a sort of softer end rounded poly was working well your next poly tour air was good um, was also um, finding though that you know things like um, head hawk touch and head links touch were also really good um, as that um, crosses hope that was of interest definitely check this out for a um, demo it's uh, fantastic to hit with uh, thanks for watching see you in the next one